release, mm -hmm. but the full preview, as I understand it, will be sometime in the end of the first or beginning of the second week of November at a film festival in New York. So that's, it's going to be in November. I think it's uh, uh, the Horror Film Festival, the New York Horror Film Festival. I think that's going to be the first screening. If they, I mean, it's still wet. It's Joey just, yeah, I just shot some other stuff where uh, obviously the whole thing takes place in one precinct and it's the last night that they're there and they're supposed to be moving and the whole story about it is and this kid comes in, supposedly cuts off his girlfriend's head and actually that's uh, where... I show up and confess to 100 years of crimes. So we try to go in and he does this whole thing of mayhem, but what happens is, is later on, uh, I kind of go insane, so I was actually in an in a, in a asylum, if you will, in a straitjacket. So I just shot that literally like last week. I was in a straitjacket for about, oh, 13 hours, which was Whoa. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it is, Damn, you're working. It is oh, interesting. I mean, you really... Oh, well, you start to feel... You we're in a real... It takes house. how long to get you out of that? Yeah. You, they put you in one of those. It's a long time getting out of it, yeah. That's <laughs> a good time, though. Real cuckoo's nest. So that's going to be the first screening, but this movie, as we say in the biz, is still wet, and, and I don't even think I don't even know if it's going to be a temp score or a real. <laughs> although I think Joy's doing love theme from Incubus. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Yes, sir. Um, I'm really interested in that blade weapon that you had that popped out. Any funny stories? You well, it's prop, you know actually it worked great, but the idea it was clumsy, and the idea it was that I that I had built that a hundred years ago like in industrial Jack the Ripper, London, and Broadway to the States. And I'm not really the killer as much as I'm, if the angel is on one shoulder and the devil is on the other, I'm that voice in every serial killer's ear for the last hundred years. And I've manifested, and I'm running out of time with this body that I took, you know, maybe a hundred years ago in Toronto or somewhere after I sailed over from London. So it's a very crude weapon that I that that I made or that someone that I influenced made probably you know in in the 1880s so that's the that's the concept behind it's like it. a leather wrap and this whole thing you make you hit it yeah, yeah. there's lots of fun in the restroom <laughs> <laughs> yes sir question for Joey um, how has it been making the transition from music going into <laughs> uh, it's it's not easy. I mean, you know, because obviously from, from being with NSYNC and everything that I've done, thank God, so far people have been said that I sucked, which is good. But, like, you know, that transition, because you're always getting, okay, you're that boy band guy from NSYNC and this and that. And I think what was exciting is when I did my big fat Rick wedding, that's when it kind of, yeah. where it was like, oh, wow, he does actually act. He has some sort of background. He's done some of that kind of stuff. So the little things that I've been doing are things that I feel really, you know, uh, excited about. Uh, it's like I'm trying to make sure, you know, I, I'm working from the ground up. You know, I'm not trying to be like, hey, you know, I was in a boy band, I should be the lead of this and do that. That's not, that's not the case. That's not where, I, how I kind of grew up. It's like, you know, it's a new thing for me as far as acting, and I'm still always learning. And it's like, for me, to especially do something that's a horror film that's completely different and out of my element, beyond belief. But it was exciting to be able to work with pretty much the freaking master of all uh,
just went through him a little bit, you know. And I remember that day, and that was real yeah, tough it was, it was on tough. Joey. And this guy was the pro from Dover That's that day. Just, I mean, because he had all the other words. Well, I just got to look back and forth at the two of them. And Joey knew to just relax and, and, and let Bill find, you know, find it and give it to him. We just would go back to number one and start all over again, even though we were getting a little stale. And then we just, we both found our fresh. Yeah. It's tricky stuff, you know, but we both love him so much. Joey and I both respect Bill so much. And, and, and it was weird because I can remember the moment when I realized that it was because his daughter was watching and it was like, oh, that's what's going on here, you know. And that, always, that can happen with anything. You can be up too late the night before. It can be one tongue twister yeah. that screws you up. We've all had them, you know. Uh, more questions? Where was yeah. the fun of your angles? What was he filmed at? Oh, Joey, you were just there. Uh, in Rhode Island. Rhode Island, Rhode Island. Yeah. Providence. 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 Yeah. yeah, suburb of Providence. You know, uh, our producers. Uh, They're all from there, pretty much. <laughs> They're bringing it back. They have a, a phenomenal sports script coming up that is sort of Hoosiers meets Rudy. And they're doing a big rewrite on it, a big polish on this great boxing script. It's going to be like a Rocky. It's going to be, and so they were able to fit our movie in first mm -hmm. because they were all ready to do this sports movie. And, and they did our movie first, and then they did one uh, with a gentleman from Twilight and from, um, got a show Peter, I uh, love. Peter Pacinelli. Uh, uh, yeah, Peter, you guys all know Peter, of course, but he's one of my favorite shows, which is Nurse Jackie. He's great on that show, and of course he's great in Twilight. And then Peter did one after hours, and now they're getting ready to gear up for this big sports movie, which is going to be huge. But they're just great guys, and what they did was they brought all their money and all their love back to their hometown, Providence, Rhode Island. And because they are established there, and they have big reputation there, they can get any church, any hospital, any any asylum, any old you know abandoned junior college or market that they need yeah. to shoot movies, and it's so rich there in location. It's so phenomenal, uh, and you haven't seen this before. You haven't seen this stuff on film before. It's it's a part of America you don't see a lot on film, and I, I think it's a great idea. And then they, they, what they do is they go up as far as New York, and they get their talent. You know, and then they get their West Coast talent and their local talent. I mean, there was a couple of kids on the movie that had been on Sopranos for like five <coughs> years you know, on a TV show. And I said, 